Hey, good morning. What time are you coming in? Making a move soon. So uh, your car hasn't been fixed yet? No, I had to leave it at the workshop. That funny clanking sound turned out to be pretty serious. So you'll be grabbing a taxi to the office then? Yeah, but don't worry, I'll be in the office on time. Okay, I'll see you later. I see you are taking your internship very seriously. Shocking, right? So far, just managed to save a trouble, Weibo. Francis Wong. Who's he? He's Louis Jelly's client. Louis has to know everything there is to know about his clients before he meets them. So he doesn't look stupid in front of them? It's a lot of work, okay? You know, it looks like he's just entertaining people, but he has to learn their business, their net worth, even the client's hobbies and interests. Like what? Golf? Ping pong? Window shopping? So basically, Louis is like a well-informed papa son. You have no idea what you're talking about. If Louis successfully woos his clients, they invest in Shelley Holdings. And that money goes to expenditure on manpower, resources and equipment. That goes where? Places like Good Faith Park Hospital, where you work. Point taken. Zara, I'm heading to work. If you want... No, thanks. Why are you so rude to your abang? You know why, Ibu. You both don't need to be upset on my behalf. See? You know, abang's a real fanboy of Louis. He's the boss's son. It's good to be on good terms with them. I heard the guy's a playboy. Yeah, whatever the case. Abang's right. People like Louis bring in the money. Hello? James, are you at the office? Eunice wants to see you. Are you, are you at work already? Yeah, I just walked in. Damn it. I... No, I'm stuck in traffic. I'll be there soon. This is amazing. You even found out where Francis Wong's best friend's wife hangs out. And his best friend's mistress. How did you get your hands on all this good stuff? Social media, the internet. I even put together kind of like a family tree of Francis Wong's network. I have to tell you, I am blown away by this. Anyway, here is a hard copy of my research. In the folder I asked you to fill out. Nice. Okay, so I guess I'm done here, so I should report back to Keith now. Zara, this is great work. I learned a lot working with you. Hey, um, I'd like to get to know you better. Hmm. Hey, how'd you get here? In a cab, like I told you. Well, what time did you leave? Around eight something. What's with all the questions? Well, I was waiting. Morning, James. Morning, Mom. I was uh, stuck in traffic. There was an accident, is all. You wanted to see me? I can always come back later. No, no, I'm good. Let's get started. Yo, get up. I got a headache. I'm not surprised. You helped yourself to all the champagne yesterday. Hmm, it was good. You were very rude to Eunice. Is it? I expect you to apologize to her and to me as well. It was the official opening of my boutique and you ruined it. Fine. You can apologize when you're ready to do so. In the meantime, you will work at my boutique the whole day today as punishment. You think what? Are we two? Uh? No, 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 no,
think we can definitely circle back to that later. Zarin, what brings you here? I made him my number two, kind of like my deputy prime minister. This is a major project. You'll be reporting to Ananya. Sweet. Love reporting to you. So, what's so major about this project? Well, as you know, we're planning to build a hospice at Good Faith Park. So we plan to hold a fundraiser to raise funds for the hospice. So this is in addition to the VVIP wing? Think you can steer two ships at once? Consider it done. Zarin, I hope you're ready for this. I'm more of than... Of course he is. That's why I brought this man on board. Zarin's got a great track record. And if the whole thing tanks, I'll throw him under the bus. Louis, I need to know that you're under no illusions how important this hospice fundraiser is. None. None at all. So you know where to start, right? Secure sponsorship for the event, of course. I got this, okay? Thanks so much. Hope to see you again. Great, you managed to get a sale out of her. Sometimes you have to be patient. Right, um, so where were we? Oh, yes. So, um, as a boutique manager, you're also responsible for hiring and firing part-time staff. My daughter, Yoke, should be helping out here. Are you expecting somebody? Why don't you go and attend to them first? Uh, we can continue this later. Okay. Hey there. I see you're keeping my gift. For now. I have something else for you. Thank you. That's not all I got for you. Anastasia Tim? The shop's launching the new arrivals tonight, and this card allows you to pick out any outfit you like. And I get to keep it? You bet. This is a very exclusive invite. They only hand out like 10 of them. So why don't you hop in? We'll go there right away, and we can have dinner later. Sarah, the fountain pen was just an appetizer. This is the real deal. I'll let you know. As you requested, this is a staff list for the salary review. Great. The average increment is about 9%. I have to point out that Ananyas is much higher than that. Now she's handling a huge portfolio. Did you get approval from the board for this? I know, we only conduct salary reviews once a year. You don't have to worry. That's why. Eunice won't be happy. Two pay hacks a year isn't the norm. You let me handle my mother, okay? Naibu. You give me flowers. What did you do? What trouble did you get into this time? Ibu, please. They're from a company event, and they're going to throw it away. They are so beautiful. Thank you. Hi, Zara. Oh, hi, Anzam. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Why are you give this to me? 
Okay. Louis gave it to me. I hope you don't mind. He gave you this? It's so expensive. And can you imagine if I were to actually give in to Louis? He'll buy me a sports car. <laughs> Better give me back. You're just an intern. And is it appropriate for a boss to shower his intern with gifts? Hmm? Keep it okay. It's nice. Thanks. I hope he doesn't try to be funny with you. <sighs> oh my god, okay. I will never ever let a sleeves bag like Louis touch me. Okay? Anyway, it's not like I don't know how to handle him. Watch. I'll see you later. Only if you buy me dinner at Le Mirage. Send. You know what's Le Mirage, handsome? What? It's this super expensive French restaurant. All the celebs go there. You're on. He really likes you. This is too easy. <laughs> Rosa, can you check on what Ayo is doing? Mom, she's still in her room. Has she been in there the whole day? Yes, Mom. She didn't even want her lunch. I was hoping she'd change her mind about coming to the shop to help out. You want me to wake her up? No, it's all right. Ibu, you're home. I've got a headache. I need to take a short nap before the dinner crowd comes in. Are you going out? Yeah, just hanging out with my classmates. Don't come home too late, please. Yes, Ibu. Anyone seen Lewis? Nope. Hi, Louis. I need you to sign up with the purchase orders for the hospice fundraiser. I thought you wanted them ASAP. Please call me back. Urgent? Not another one. Can I just say you look Unbelievable. Thanks. I look good enough to eat. Ready for dinner? Yeah. Where are we going? Is that from Le Mirage? I asked them to cater for us. Dinner's gonna be awesome. I thought we were gonna eat there. Oh, well, I thought of somewhere else better. The view is stellar and super private. You're gonna love it. Did you do anything else today? Besides lie in bed and eat junk food? Do you even know what time it is? How come you're here? Close your shop, really? I gave you a chance to make up for your appalling behaviour yesterday and you failed to take it. Okay, fine. You open the shop now, I'm going to help. Yo, I don't understand. We were getting along so well yesterday. I was hoping it could be a fresh start for us. Fresh start? What's so wrong with that? You want mother-daughter bonding? Forget it. We're not close. We're far from close. Then why did you help me yesterday? 
Honestly. Hey, relax. We're going to have a good time. You promised to take me to the restaurant. I made a reservation. I got us the best table. And then I found out James is going to be there. It won't look good on you if you see this together. So you're rescuing me? I would hate for you to be the subject of office gossip. You don't know how gossipy the stuff can be. Come on, isn't this better? We go somewhere quiet, no waiters looking over our shoulders. It'll just be you and me. I'm not sleeping with you. What? I'm not. Sarah, you got this all wrong. Stop the car. I'm getting out. Oh, come on, don't be like this. I mean it. Stop the car or I'll... OK, 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 I'm stopping the car. I'm stopping the car. I swear to you, I wasn't trying to do anything. I am not like the other girls you date. This is unprecedented, James. That's why I'm bringing it to you first. The company never holds two salary reviews in the same year. Well, we had a very strong showing last year. It would be remiss of us not to reward our staff. This is a very long list of names. Well, they're all our top performers. Ravi, Tingwen, Ananya, Simon Tan also. These are all loyal people. They deserve to be acknowledged. Fine. Bring it up at the board meeting. I won't oppose it. The staff will appreciate this. I hope this will only be a one-time thing. Absolutely. Sarah, wait up. You parked in a double yellow line. I do that all the time. Can you stop? Let's talk. James is at the restaurant? Yes. You think I'm stupid? What kind of lame excuse is that? What? He is. The maitre d' told me. Bye. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you making me work so hard for one simple date? You've got a hundred girls at your disposal. Go date one of them. I don't want them. I want to go out with you. Please. I've seen the girls you date. All right, they're hot and, and slutty. Don't waste your time on me. Please stop. Listen, this is going to sound crazy to you, but I want to go out with you because you don't want to go out with me. Those girls are easy. They mean nothing to me. If I insulted you in any way, I'm sorry. That's the last thing I want to do. Ananya, working late again? Uh, I love my job. <laughs> Congratulations. You're in line for a very generous pay raise. I am? Hasn't James told you? You're due for an increment. He hasn't mentioned it. Well, clearly, you deserve it. Thank you, Eunice. From the very beginning, Derek had an eye on you. He had a thing for spotting young talent. It's nice to see James values you as much as his father did. I suggest you don't have any ideas above your station. You're an employee here. You can be replaced. I appreciate the advice. Don't work too hard. I've been a jerk to women. I know I don't treat them properly. I get that. But I've been different with you. It doesn't feel that way. It feels like you've been hitting on me since my first day in the office. Really? Well, then I've got some serious work to do. You wouldn't know where to start. Maybe you can show me. 
Okay. Those girls, April and Eva, you owe them an apology. I can do that. An apology and a confession. Apology and confession. And tell them they deserve to be with a real man. You're really pushing it. A real man would have apologized a long time ago. How about they deserve to be with someone better than me? Isn't someone better than you a real man? A real man. And can I vet it first before you send it? You drive a hard bargain. No, I don't. Then you've got to give me more. I can't work like this. I know what you're doing. You're seeing me with a sponsor and he's turning me down because I can only buy him a copy. Oh. Louis, I am trying to stay calm here. Enough. Ananya, I'm taking you off the fundraiser. Louis, you're reporting directly to me now. Report to you? We make a great team. Ananya's busy. You mean it? Yeah, I'm taking over. Then I am done here. Thanks, James. Don't go! Leave her alone. Jimmy, bro, come on.